episode, we're going to look at adding in some JavaScript to do a dynamic selection. So when we select a country, it'll automatically fetch the list of states that's available for that particular country. If you change the country to something different, then it will update the states dropdown with the list of available states within that particular country. And while there are some tutorials around this already, I did want to take a much more unevasive approach to where when we make our selection and our change, it's just going to naturally work. So if we create a user, we'll just create a John Doe who lives in the United States in Colorado. You can see that we are saving the country and the state. And within our index, we can see the association. If we come back and edit them, you can see that it already has the appropriate one selected. And then the states is also populated with all the possible dropdowns based on its country. So first, let's have a look at the application. Within our models, we have a country class, and it has many states. The model state belongs to the country, and the user belongs to the country, and the user also belongs to the state. We could add a has many in the country and the state for the user, just to see how many users live in each country and state, but that's not really needed for this example. And then within our routes RB file, we simply just have a route to our users index and the resources users. So we're going to pre-populate all of the countries and states. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.